We have learned that acids are sour and that they turn blue litmus red. What gives these acids their acidic properties? The molecule of hydrogen chloride ionizes to form a hydrogen ion and a chloride ion when dissolved in water. The ethanoic acid molecule ionizes to form a hydrogen ion and an ethanoic ion. The nitric acid molecule ionizes to form a hydrogen ion and a nitrate ion. The sulfuric acid molecule ionizes to form a hydrogen ion and a sulfate ion. All of them dissociate to form hydrogen ions when they are dissolved in water. The hydrogen ion from the acid combines with water molecule to form a hydrozonium ion. It is this aqueous hydrogen ion that is responsible for the properties of acids. We can therefore conclude that acids as substances that produce hydrogen ions or hydrozonium ions when dissolved in water. Now, look carefully at these two. Can you spot the difference? Look at the number of hydrogen ions produced. Hydrochloric acid releases one hydrogen ion. An acid that can give up one hydrogen ion per molecule of acid is called a monoprotic acid. Hydrochloric acid is an example of a monoprotic acid. Whereas sulfuric acid releases two hydrogen ions, an acid that can give up two hydrogen ions per molecule of acid is called a diprotic acid. Sulfuric acid is an example of a diprotic acid. Use two hydrogen ions per molecule of acid is called a diprotic acid. Basis A base is a substance that reacts with an acid to form a salt and water only. Metal oxides and hydroxides are bases. A base that is soluble in water is called an alkali. Alkalis Alkalis dissociate in water to produce hydroxide ions. According to the Arrhenius theory, an acid is a compound that produces hydrogen ions when it dissolves in water. Hydrochloric acid is obtained when a hydrogen chloride molecule dissolves in water and then ionized to form hydrogen ion. The hydrogen ion combines with water to form hydrozonium ion. However, we can write hydrozonium ion as hydrogen ion. Now, can you explain why glacial acetic acid does not change blue litmus paper red? Glacial acetic acid is a dry acid. Though acetic acid is in liquid form, but there is no water molecule present. Therefore, the acetic acid molecule does not dissociate to release the hydrogen ion unless a substance like water molecule ready to accept the hydrogen ions. When water is added, the acetic acid molecule breaks up and releases hydrogen ion. The hydrogen ion then accepts the water molecule to form hydrozonium ion, which makes the liquid acidic, thus changes the blue litmus red.
Is water important in showing the properties of alkalis? Let us investigate. Place some dry barium hydroxide powder and a piece of dry red litmus paper in a small beaker. Rub the litmus paper on the powder using a glass rod. What happens to the litmus paper? Now add some water into the same beaker. What happens to the litmus paper? That's right, the litmus paper changes to blue color. Why doesn't the litmus paper change color before water is added? Barium hydroxide is an ionic compound. In solid state, barium ions and hydroxide ions are closely packed in an orderly manner and in contact with each other at fixed positions. Thus, the hydroxide ions cannot move freely in the solid state to exhibit alkaline properties. When barium hydroxide powder is dissolved in water, it ionizes to produce free-moving barium and hydroxide ions. These free mobile hydroxide ions can exhibit alkaline properties. We can write the equation as shown. Can other solvents replace water to show alkaline properties? Let us do this activity. Test tube A contains dry ammonia gas. Test tube B contains dry ammonia gas in trichloromethane. Test tube C contains dry ammonia gas in water. What do you think will happen to the litmus papers placed in test tubes A, B and C? Let's find out. Yes, litmus paper only changed color in test tube C where water is present. When ammonia molecules dissolve in water, molecules disassociate to form ammonia ions and hydroxide ions which show alkaline properties. There is no change to litmus paper in test tube A because only ammonia molecules exist in ammonia gas. There is no change to litmus paper in test tube B because ammonia molecules in trichloromethane remain intact. Thus, no hydroxide ions are produced. You have learned that acid ionizes in water to produce hydroxonium ions or hydrogen ions. The properties of acid can only be exhibited in the presence of water. Acids cannot show their properties in dry state or when dissolved in organic solvent. An alkali will only exhibit alkaline properties when water is present. Water is needed to produce free mobile hydroxide ions in alkalis to exhibit alkaline properties. Ammonia will only exhibit alkaline properties when water molecule is present.